Yep, it's uh, we talked about it before. I mean, it's only one way to enjoy senior night, and it's win. And you know, we've heard, I've seen, I've seen it all. Gotten beat on some emotional senior nights. Won some great senior nights. Uh, had some guys get off to a start. I got one guy. I remember our MVP of our league at middle had a night just like Devontae. Just. It came in, fouled, left, fouled, you know, just one of those nights. And so uh, that's probably one of the only things that's not gone great for Devontae is his senior night. He did win the game. But it was great to see some people here, to see he and Romello play their last game in the pavilion. And uh, proud of our team. Thought we fought it. Thought our, our zone defense. And we guarded for that period of time about as good as we've guarded all year long. Let our guard down with press offense. Weren't very good against the press, as you saw. And uh, but give Vanderbilt credit, Jerry's team just keeps playing. So, but great way to end the year. I mean, he's winning seven out of nine, nine out of thirteen, and uh, got some momentum going in the tournament. That starts off. Hey, Robert, uh, Kermit, uh, you didn't have KJ, you didn't have Devontae, but then you hold Vanderbilt to five points. I think through nine and a half minutes in the second half, defensively, collectively, was that one of the best efforts y'all had all year? Yeah, it probably was, Ben. I mean, it really was. Uh, you know, Robert Allen is so active at the top of the zone. I, I thought Sammy and Romello were, were terrific in the middle. And, and our wings and Luis, we made an adjustment at halftime. One thing they've done to kind of hurt us and that one adjustment. Our guys put it right in the game, and, and it, really, it really helped. And then we turned good defense into offense, which we needed to tonight because we, we, we struggled kind of shot making, you know, for a little period of time uh, over the last six, seven minutes. Uh, Courtney? Coach, a week ago we were talking about the fact that after that loss to Vanderbilt last week, you were off the bubble. And now, obviously, you still have a ways to go, but you're back on it just a week later. How up and down is just, you know, the end of February going into March and trying to solidify a spot in the tournament? And what does that kind of do to team around to continuously go through that back and forth? Yeah, you know, uh, my hat's off to our team. I mean, we're one in four. And for us to now win seven, it's hard, it's hard in a Power Five league to win seven out of your last nine. That's hard. I mean, it really is. I don't care. If you play in the Big Ten, the SEC, Big 12, and ACC, and you've won seven out of nine, your team is playing good and consistent. And, uh, you know, uh, we've got a tournament resume, and it's got holes in it just like those 10 or 15 just like us. I know one thing is that, you know, we're like eight and eight when quad one, quad two games. We do have – Three quad one wins. At some point, it was four. So we're, we're right there. We got work to do. We know that, and uh, we've got to go to the tournament and play well. And uh, but you know what? It's a great feeling to be playing and being in the spot that you're really playing for something right now. And uh, and so like tonight was a game we had to have, and uh, it was good to get it. And uh, I know our guys were excited about it. Neil, go ahead. Trevor, you only got 23 minutes total out of uh, Devontae and KJ. With that in mind, with that this kind of as gritty a team effort as you guys have had all year? It was, Neil, and I, and I said that to, to our team. I mean, you think about that. I mean, but Devontae really never got going at all. K.J. was no factor because of the injury. You know, but our team has kind of fought that all just during this period of time, Neil, and K.J. was out, you know, earlier, and I just seen we found different guys, but we did. We guarded at a high, high level, and to have that team at one point 25, I mean, we were in transition and playing as good as we played. But it just shows you. I mean, you just can't let your guard down, especially teams. You know, Jerry's going to coach. They're going to keep playing and keep trying to win the game till it's over. Is there an update on KJ? He looked like he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, he's doing better. He's doing better. It seemed like uh, after, the, uh, uh, after the game was over, talked to him just for a brief uh, 15, 20 seconds, and he says, Coach, I'll be good. And so I think a couple days uh, off will probably do him a lot of good. Go to Parrish. Herman, uh, Matthew hit a couple big shots, and he had that steal there in the first half. It was kind of like a, uh, a four-point swing when he came back and gave it up to Devontae for the jumper. What, what did, I heard you say gritty, but uh, did, did that play kind of personify uh, what you guys were able to do tonight? It was. You know, I, I thought, you, you know, Matt, you could see his athleticism. Uh, he did. He did a great pass that he made, you know, dunked the ball, made a couple timely threes. He was huge in our, in our, you know, lead getting up to 20 or 24. I didn't think he made a couple smart plays and press offense late, you know, about time and score. That's just what some young guys will do. But I was really proud of Matthew. He had four, four rebounds, eight points, 23 minutes, and uh, 
you know. So he's he's just going to keep getting better and better. And I, I know he's going to have a good tournament. And I can't wait to see what he's going to do and improve next year. Go to Adam. Coach, just look, uh, going off of uh, how Jarkel played tonight, uh, just can you talk about that? Yeah, Jarkel was he was great. Mid range game was was on. Um, you know, he bounced up. He played with confidence in his mid range game. I thought he guarded at a real real high level. Just trying to see, he had four rebounds, which is great for guard. Three assists, two turnovers. So the last two games, he's had six assists and two turnovers, which is good for Jarkel. He had one against the press late. So, uh, yep, he made some shots, but really, I tell you what, he's, he's such a, an improved defender from kind of start to right now. Back of Ben. Kermit, uh, you brought it up just a minute ago, but after the Vanderbilt loss, after the state loss, you mentioned how this point you were as far as their desperation, their juice, their urgency. Tonight, the way they played in that urgency or juice, whatever you want to call it, was that more of what you were looking for in those kind of games? Yeah, no doubt, Ben. I mean, we, we just have to guard and rebound, Ben. I mean, and when we do shot and make a little, like we did tonight during that period of time, our team can really can explode and be really good and can play nationally with a lot of people. And uh, so, but we've got to hang our hat in this tournament. Finn, rebound, no matter what seed we end up, whether it's six or five and who we play, and that's what's got to travel to Nashville, you know, that and getting balls to second and third side and, you know, and your, your, your best players just got to have good, have good tournaments. And that's what we got to have. Good to Nick. Kermit, this team's obviously used to kind of start and stop and with all the COVID stuff that happened this year. Do you think that's valuable come tournament, tournament, tournament time? Yeah, I do. I, I think teams are used to it, whether it's uh, – we didn't handle the one week when the LSU game got canceled. But you know what, guys? Hats off to our staff, our medical staff. And we played a full SEC schedule, 18 games. That's amazing. You know, I mean, we had that one period of time where we paused for about a long time. I didn't coach them for a while. But that really is. Hats off to Andrew Beike, uh, just our players, uh, our medical staff. Knock on wood. You know, I keep knocking on wood because we're not over yet. And uh, but but they've done a, a marvelous job, and so it, it's great to finish all 18 games. Tyler, go ahead. Kind of going off that, Kermit. I know the season isn't over, but what will you remember most about this roller coaster season? You know, just uh, just what our our players, just how mature they handled it, uh, how fun they were to come to gym. You know, we had we have a senior dinner, and we honored our guys last night, and it's probably. Probably the coolest thing that, that I do as a head coach. And uh, it's emotional. It was very emotional last night with Devontae. Uh, he and Romello were terrific. You know, where you get up and, and players talk about them and what they meant to them. Uh, coaches talk about them. And then they reflect on their time at Ole Miss. And you think about Devontae. He's been here four years. And just the things and just his pride and how much he loved Ole Miss. And you see culture. We honor our five managers. And, and so – to get to that point is, is a great feeling for me. I mean, it really is, that these guys persevered and did everything. What normal college students can't, you know, just, just can't do it, can't be a normal college student. And like I said, we're not there yet, but, uh, but I probably remember that mostly, just the sacrifices those guys made to get 18 SEC games in and have a chance, you know, to go 10 and 8 and finish, you know, fifth or sixth in our league. Hey, Kermit, you said five or six. Is that what it's down to for you guys in terms of seeding five or six? Yeah, right now we'd be, and Adam can correct me, but we'd be sixth right now and play South Carolina. Uh, if Florida wins at Tennessee tomorrow, we could finish fifth and play the winner of A&M and Vandy. So it kind of puts you in a different bracket. Am I right on that, Adam? Yep, and Adam told me that. That's the only reason I know it, because I sure can't figure it out. Uh, but that's kind of where we are, where we're, you know, and uh, – you know, so like I said, both of those, you're going to play good teams in the first round, and uh, but it just really depends on what kind of bracket you'll get into. Thank you. We'll go to Courtney. Coach, the SEC tournament last year, obviously you were the only game that actually ended up playing. Is it kind of just like a breath of fresh air almost, knowing that you're going to be able to go back and uh, do it all again after all of the uncertainty of just last year? Yep, it is. You know, I'm still upset at Greg Sankey. I thought he should have called the tournament off a day earlier, and he didn't, you know. So, and I told him that. But, uh, you know, it was an eerie feeling last year walking in Bridgestone. You just you – could, you could visit with the commissioner and Dan Leibowitz and the SEC, and you could tell it was just 
you know, everybody's on pins and needles, and I know it was, it was a hard decisions for everybody. But it is going to be nice to know there is some fans. It was great to see some fans tonight in our arena. That was terrific. And uh, so it, it's, it's going to be fun. I know our guys are looking forward to it to kind of think we're not out of it yet, but we look like we're on the downhill and the different things that are opening back up. But for us, it does, nothing opens up. You know, Courtney, it's going to be just like we've done. Our families can't stay in the hotels with us. Uh, we'll be isolated like a regular trip. We'll be tested every single day, I think, starting tomorrow. So nothing will change for us. But it will be great just to know that everybody's going to be back, not in full swing, but the tournament is going to happen again. All right, Ben, wrap us up. How are you growing it up with uh, fans in the States? This is something you've been waiting on, Romello, that this mission he hasn't gotten the experience to. Was it tangible? I mean, was it noticeable tonight? The last two were, Ben. I mean, that's just how, that's just how empty these arenas have been, you know, that uh, – you know, that these games, Kentucky, whatever, have great crowds on a Saturday, beautiful weather, baseball, you know, doubleheader, baseball, basketball. And, uh, but just to have that crowd in there, it makes a huge difference. The Kentucky, to have those students in there, it made a difference. So, God, is it going to be nice, knock on wood, next year to go to Bald Hemingway and, and in the pavilion and, and to see these places rocking again. That's going to be a lot of fun for our players. All right, thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thank you, guys.